years in Europe. And my grandmother. And my grandmother before that. So you can actually say 200 years. You want to tell me Spanish on your TV? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Because yeah. you're not American, dude. Okay. I will look you the Hi, this is Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. And today we have racist Karen at the pizza shop. Well, I think it's pizza. I'm not sure what it is, but whatever it is, Karen is explaining to the man behind the counter that her grandmother was a Karen and her grandmother's grandmother was a Karen. She's from a line of over 200 years of Karens and they are not happy about Spanish TV here in America. So what is she gonna do? She's gonna have him deported. That's right, have him kicked out. Now, I don't know that you could be kicked out of America for watching Spanish TV, but then there's a lot about racist ignorance I don't know. Fortunately, Karen's here to fill us in. The way she's about to fill us in on the fact World War II was fought so that Latin immigrants can make money. Stay tuned. You're in America, you're supposed to learn English. You got Spanish, well then you got Spanish on your TV. That's a f you to Americans, dude. My father was a World War II veteran, okay? He, his friends and family died. So you're gonna sit here right now and make money. And you're gonna do this kind of That's right, Karen's father and her father's friends fought in World War II for this immigrant to make money. Wait a minute, why am I calling him an immigrant? I don't even know his status. He could be born here in America. I do know this, that my father, who was a Latin immigrant, also served during World War II. And who knew he was there serving so that one day Latin immigrants could make money? Yeah, I know the story was that we were out fighting to, to make the world safe for democracy, to put an end to the Nazis and so on. But who knew that it was actually a secret plot for the Latinos to make money? I'll tell you who knew, Karen. And now she's telling all of us. Oh, and Spanish TV is a fuck you to America? Well, let's hope Telemundo doesn't find out because they seem to have a lot of viewers. Hmm, Karen, your view of history is a bit twisted. But what's even more twisted is how you can call someone who speaks two languages an ignoramus when the only other language you speak is to speak English slower. Let's watch. I don't understand. You're too young to have any kind of respect. No, you don't. You don't understand. You're an ignoramus is what you are. You're an ignoramus. Ignoramus. You're young and you're still Give me a cry. I don't want your food. I want a credit for my money right now. And believe me, I will check it. Okay? I'm, I'm a certain suitcase. I'm a certain you probably even know what that means, do you? So now Karen wants her money back. That's right, Karen wants her money or her credit. And you better count it right because you know you don't count the same in a different language. Karen said she's a certified... <laughs> yeah, exactly. She mumbled. I don't know what Karen's certified in, but I'm betting she is certified. I'm sure she was trying to say certified public accountant, but I really can't be sure. I also didn't understand him. Why? Because he was speaking Spanish under his breath. And I'm sure he wasn't saying Karen is a nice lady. That's right, Karen. The ignoramus can speak two languages. You're only racist in one. So he's got a little bit up on you when it comes to, I don't know, intelligence. He's a smart man, Karen. You're not a smart Karen. But let's see how Karen does when she's challenged by another American white woman. Hmm. And she's videotaping me. Yeah, because yeah, you're a racist. You're, you're a racist. No, yes, no, you are. You're a victim. You're a racist. You're a victim. I'm not a victim. You're a no, victim. I'm not. No, I'm an American. No, you're, you're a racist. A you're, you're a racist. Victim. You're a victim. You're a racist. You're the racist. No, you're I'm not racist. racist. I'm not over here trying to get my money no, back I'm because I'm, I'm, you're shopping at a too. pizza shop. I'm just asking no for one cares. You're the racist. I can do this with my phone too. I can do the same thing. Show everybody you're that you're racist. You're the race. You're the race. I'm going to film you right now. And I got 4,000 followers. This is our first Karen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Finally, Karen is challenged by another white woman. Now, how do I know it's another white woman? Because Karen calls her a victim. And you know, in Karen's world, white women are the victims. So Karen calls her a victim. Then she calls her a victim. Then she calls her a victim. Then she calls her a racist, which doesn't make sense. Why the shift, Karen? I'm really not sure. And who would she be racist against? 
Karen, if she's a white woman like you, is she racist against herself? Boy, that would keep her busy and somewhat confused, just like the rest of us. I'll tell you one thing that isn't confusing, Karen, your ignorance. That's right. My favorite part of this video is when the woman behind the counter realizes she has encountered a Karen in the wild. Yes, and she's surprised to find out they are just as loud and rude and ignorant as they are on video. Yes, you've seen a Karen in the wild and they're not exaggerating. The last thing, and you know this is coming, Karen will be identified. She will be identified by people she lives around or works with or something, and then she'll come back with the apology. And the apology will say that this isn't like her. She doesn't know what happened. And it was uh, uh, the medication. Sure, why not? Let's blame the medication. Karen, I've got one thing to say to you. Adios, Karen. Or as we like to say, bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, wait, Felicia's black. You couldn't be Felicia. No, we'll stick with adios, Karen.